Hey Pisces, this is Moonpod doing your end of January love reading. Check and see what the energies are playing out for you and the person that you are thinking of or whom you are connecting with spiritually. Alright, so we'll look at them first and then we'll take a look at you. And um, your February love readings have already been uploaded, so definitely go over and check them out if you haven't had a chance to see those. They're in my playlist, okay? little sneak preview. I know they're done a little bit early, but it's okay. All right, Pisces, let's take a look here. Person you're dealing with, okay. Um, could be dealing with a Libra, but this person's in a position of wanting to do the right thing, making things right. Um, a verdict's coming in for them as far as like a legal situation, and it's in their favor, and it'll work out for them. Um, they could be, this could have something to do with marriage or divorce, it really just depends. Um, more like legal binding contracts, okay? This is karma, justice will be served. So if this person, whatever bad deeds they did, they're getting their karma, all right? <laughs> okay, so Libra Cancer energy. So chariot here. Um, so as far as love goes, I do feel like this person is, they're plotting their destination at this point and they're getting in their vehicle and they're going for what they need to do and whatever however that relates to you making a situation right and going after it okay victory here um acknowledgement awards so i don't know this person you're connecting with here um reaping what they sow. They're, they're trying to be in a situation where they can be like a winner. They can get the accolades or be, um, I want to say like the good guy. They want to be the good guy. So they want to fix something, make something right. Tell the truth, be honest with you, make something right, fix it. Right? Because they want to be on top. They want to win. They want to be the winner. They want, they want the applause. They want to be, they want to be recognized. Um, they may have this thing, maybe they had a bad reputation in the past or, you know, was kind of a player or just messed around or wasn't truthful and honest. And this person now is like, no, I want to do the right thing. I want to, you know, I, I don't want that. I don't want my reputation to, um, you know, succeed me. I, I want to be able to succeed because I'm doing the right thing and I'm, I'm putting the effort in to make things right. Okay. This has something to do with finances, wills, trust, inheritance, a family business, paying back, making restitution, paying you back, paying somebody back, um, investing in a future in a family business or a business or um, securing uh, security, safety. Okay. Yeah, this person, <laughs> you're dealing with someone who is playing the victim. They, they were playing the victim card and they were trying to like, oh, poor me, everybody, you know, poor me. And I feel like your person got called out on their behavior, like you're a grown up, stop acting like a child. And now they were forced, maybe by a court of law, or they were forced to make restitution or do the right thing here. And now they're actually realizing like, wow, I can, I can get just as much attention if I do the right thing versus doing this, playing this victim card, like having people feel sorry for me. It's very covert narcissistic. Having people feel sorry for me, um, yeah, that gets me attention, but it also gets me a loss of respect. So, you know, how about I turn it around now? I'm seeing like if I, if I actually live a good straight whole narrow life and do the right thing, then um, I don't have to play this victim card anymore, self-imposed prisoner, and I can actually take control back of my life. And, and so somebody's having an awakening here. Somebody's having, an, your person is having some kind of like wake-up call. But I, I feel like the wake-up call is coming because they're being forced to have to wake up right? Maybe you, maybe you did something, maybe you like ratted them out to the police or, you know, filed motion in a court or, or, you know, did something to just try to tell them, look, I'm not playing with you anymore. Like this is, you got, you're forcing somebody to grow up, I guess, or pay you back for something. Let's take a look at your energy here. Okay. Yep. You're no longer attached to this position. Um, if they, if this position was very toxic and you got yourself out of this and you're not enabling this person's behavior anymore, you're taking care of business. You're, you're doing, you know, what's best for you in this case, Capricorn energy, by the way, 
Okay. Yep. You're just like, I'm done. These swords, look, these swords are falling out of my back. They're heavy on the end here, so they're just falling away. No more betrayals, no more backstabbing. I'm out of this energy. I can't be touched. I can't touch this. <laughs> All right. You're not reconciling, that's for sure. You're just, like, the last couple of weeks, I know some of you listen, you're like, oh, I want to reconcile my ex, and others are like, F them. Um, but you're not. You're not living in the past. You're not stuck in the past. You're not thinking about all the sweet times. Yep, you're ready for new love. And your your thing is here, Pisces, because this is you. Your thing here is like, you know, whoever, um, you're ready for someone to make an offer to you. Like, you want the real deal. You know, this can be Prince Charming, but you weren't dealing with Prince Charming. You were doing dealing with Toddler Charming. You know, he was like, he was immature Charming. Prince Charming is actually a knight, you know, like he's irresponsible, like he gets knighted on purpose. Okay, um but you were you were dealing like um like with like little teeny tiny prince harry i don't know like a little toddler a little child <laughs> okay so yeah this person you're not mothering them you're not going to be the the mother the the you know the babysitter of this toddler anymore you know you're looking for a knight in shining armor to come in and sweep you off your feet and give you all the things that you feel you deserve and you know you're not because i feel like you were kind of like taking care of this person because he kept playing this poor me shit you know and and you were just like ew stop get away and if they owed you money or they weren't giving you what, you know, you felt like you deserved, you ratted them out or you just were like, oh, that's fine. I'll take it to court because you're not going to, you know, you just kind of got up in your like, like your little, like your wittiness about you. You just, and I feel like you are pretty witty like that, but you, you don't like, you're not controversial. Like you don't like to go out there and hurt people's feelings on purpose. I just feel like you were kind of like, you know, I've had enough. So... Um, that's great because as I was saying with them, they want to just try to make things right with you and do the right thing. And they might even be coming in with this proposal, but you're just kind of like needing to make sure that when they come back in, um, you know, that this isn't just a novel idea that they've had because you put them in their place or you just basically told them, well, I'm not going to be your mother. I'm not going to babysit you anymore. You want to make sure that when they come back in that they're going to show that they've changed or that they are like it, it's just going to be up and up with you at this point. So those are your messages. It's only for two weeks. So take what works, leave the rest and definitely check out your February love readings. I will see you guys soon. Bye.